The clear and present threat upon us is terrorism. As of now, there is no specific intelligence of any imminent plot against Singapore. But the general assessment by our intelligence, intelligence agencies indicate that almost all cities are likely targets, including Singapore. Members here already know of attacks in other cities in the past 18 months. Paris, Sydney, San Bernardino, Istanbul, Bangkok, Jakarta, Brussels, and most recently, Lahore. A few months later, you may have to add more cities to that list. Threat levels for Singapore from ISIS are higher than those posed by Al-Qaeda and Jamia Islamia when they were active. So if you like a simple number, what well, Al-Qaeda were able to attract both sympathizers and operators in the last 10 years, ISIS has already exceeded that number in the last three years. So our assessment is that the threat levels from ISIS are higher than that from AQ and JI. Let me explain our reasons for this assessment. In this narrative, Singapore is an attractive target. Last year, Dabik, Dabik is an English language newsletter published by ISIS, named Singapore among the quote-unquote enemies of the Islamic State and call on followers to wage jihad against us. ISIS has opportunity. Every shopping mall, every crowded place is an opportunity for violent extremists to target innocent civilians and cause as much suffering and mayhem as possible. ISIS operatives and sympathizers, especially what we call clean skins, those with no prior criminal record, can travel and smuggle components of arms and explosives. Changi Airport received over 55 million passengers last year. And many more cross land and sea checkpoints of Singapore. MHA has stepped up security checks but the terrorists only need to succeed once. So under these circumstances, can Singapore, or for that matter any city, guarantee its residents that no extremist attack will occur? I think the answer is an obvious one. Only a foolish and complacent government will provide that false sense of security. Instead, we must step up our defenses bring our citizens into confidence, and more importantly, confront this threat and prepare to deal with the aftermath together.